Hi, uh, yeah, my name is Dennis Bosher. I live in Hurt, Virginia. I'm a father. My son's grown. He's 24, 20, no, 25. He might be 26. Hell, I don't know. <laughs> um, he's actually got two kids of his own, a wife, um, that, which they have actually have twins on the way. So um, I'm actually going over there for dinner tonight. I run a small branding company called Reveal. And the idea behind that is we believe that most businesses are strong brands that simply need to be revealed. The brand needs to be revealed. There are layers that are that are currently covering that strong brand. And my job is to come in there, peel those layers off, reveal the real strong brand that's behind all of those layers. <laughs> we basically specialize in branding strategy, which is a part of it that a lot of people miss out on, and um, identity design. Uh, yeah, I do have hobbies, actually. Um, my passion right now, and it has been for the last six years, is FPV drone flying. Basically, FPV drone flying is, you know what a drone is, obviously, um, but most of the drones you see, they're usually hovering in the air, and um, they don't move very much, a little bit here or there, but my drone, my drone can move. Basically, with my drone, I have a little camera that sits on the drone. Um, I actually have two cameras. I have one that's standard definition, it's analog, and the other one is an HD camera, like a GoPro. Basically, the little standard definition camera sends a signal to goggles that I wear on my eyes. Whatever the drone sees, it sends a signal back to me. From my perspective, I'm inside the drone, and I can fly around um, viewing what the drone sees, basically. And like I said, my drone is not your standard hover there, move slow here, this way, rotate here, rotate there. My drone is an FPV freestyle slash racing drone, which means it's super fast. These things can get up to, you know, 100 miles an hour or more. These drones are really fast. They do flips. They do rolls. They go all over the place. You know, they zip through gaps, and, you know, they're super fun, and that's been my passion for the longest time. I build my own, you know, all of the soldering, everything that has to be done inside the electronics. I do it. Um, we can buy, we buy the motors and, the you know, the frames and stuff like that, and we just assemble it all together, the electronics. We do a little bit of programming in the um, flight software, but that's that's my hobby, and um, it's been an amazing hobby. I find it therapeutic. It's a great relief after a hard day's work to go out, put the goggles on, and fly through the sky with the birds. It's really fun. Uh, more about my business. Um, okay, again, my business name is a reveal. And the idea behind that name, it's spelled R-E-E-V-L, which is different and unique, and that's what's special about it. Um, but the idea behind it is most businesses have everything that they need to become a strong brand. It just takes the right kind of strategy to reveal that, and that's the idea behind the name. Basically, what I offer is branding strategy and identity design, which means I create a strategy that's going to take your business to the next level. We want to identify who your customers are. We want to identify who your competition is. We want to find out what makes you different and special. And if there isn't anything, we need to make something. We need to find a way to make you stand out from the crowd. Once we do that, we form an identity that reflects all of these things and appeals to your targeted consumer. We've been in business for over 15 years, almost 16. And um, we actually just recently rebranded. Prior to Reveal, I w my business name was Skilled Graphics. And um, it was very general, and the main reason I changed that is because we wanted to narrow that focus down to branding and strategy. Um, what inspired me to start my – well, in like – I think it was 2006, 2007, there was a bad recession. I was actually working at an engineering firm. I was an engineering technician. Um, we worked on the, the design plans for highways and road construction. Basically, I designed sidewalks and roads and signalization plans, the markings, the paint markings that are on the roads. We determined where sidewalks go, and we determined the, the right radiuses that are on driveways. And, you know, it was a bunch of stuff that we did for the transportation department in Florida. And um, anyway, during the recession, there was several rounds of layoffs. I was on the third one, and it was kind of disappointing, but I'd already... I had already dipped my um, nose into some design work, and I was already doing it, actually, just as a hobby. I found a couple of forums online where you could enter design contests, and most of it was logo design, stuff like that. 
And I won a couple contests, and I'm found I really had like a knack for it. So after I was laid off, I really I went all in. I um I got, I bought a nice computer, something decent that I could do some good design work, which was digging into my savings a little bit. But we had to do it. I had to focus on my future, providing for my family. I was married, we had kids, so I was trying to um, provide, and um, that's what inspired me. Survival, survival, survival inspired me. But um. To be fair, I've been interested in computers and designing since I was about 17, 18 years old. Back in like 1997, I was designing in Photoshop, like I think it was 4.5.0, one of those. Um, old school Photoshop. I was creating logos back then, um, just, just playing around. I was creating animations. I was dabbling into, um, visual basics programming, doing, I was creating little programs for chats and stuff like that. So I've always had an interest in design and creating things on the computer but ultimately what inspired me to start the business was the recession and basically out of desperation and survival <laughs> um i, I kind of touched base on this a little bit um when i started the business it was named skilled graphics and um we i did everything logo design business card printing hosting domain registration websites Anything that can be designed, printed, um, put on a website, I did it. I did it all. It was very generalized, and um, basically, I went for everything and everybody. As the years have passed, we've been in business now for almost 16 years. I developed a focus on branding strategy and identity design. This has just been the evolution of my business. I didn't like designing brochures. I didn't like all the text and the copy. I really don't care too much to do websites. There's just, There's just too much complication. I really like the process of creating a brand and creating an identity and um, that's where my business has changed the most and as I mentioned we even rebranded to kind of reflect that focus. I'll try and keep this as simple as possible. The process behind creating a brand strategy it starts with identifying and defining the core values of your brand. From there, we try to identify who the targeted consumer is. Who is it that wants to buy your product or use your service? What are the driving factors behind their their purchasing behaviors? It's beyond demographics. It's psychographics. It's the emotions that trigger these people to buy, you know? For starters, core values, core branding, persona, and then we want to focus on who your customer is. We're going to target them and we're going to appeal to them. And once we do that, we're going to figure out who your competition is. What opportunities have those competitors left open that you can take advantage of? How can you stand out from them? And how can you stand out as a better option than them? When we answer these questions, we uncover certain insights that will help us to actually mold the brand even further. We'll use that insight and we'll create the strategy going forward that is the foundation of everything the brand represents and wants to reflect. And it's all based on who the competition is, how we stand apart and different and better than them, and who our consumer is, the targeted consumer that we want to appeal to and attract. Everything going forward is about them. We'll use all of the insight that we've gathered and learned and we'll create an identity which is basically the colors of your brand, the name of your brand, the logo, um, the photography, the topography, you know, what your fonts look like. All of these things reflect onto your customer and um, they, they tell them something. It's a message. Um, and that's another thing, messaging. You know, what is your voice? How do you want to come across? You know, all of these things reflect what your business is about and you don't want to send mixed messages to your customers. And finally, the last part of your strategy is you've got to be consistent. In order for people to trust who you are and you know, for you to gain that recognition, you've got to be consistent with who your brand is. You, your brand is a promise, and you're delivering that promise, and you've got to deliver it consistently. I actually developed my own strategy. It's called the RESULTS Approach. RESULTS is an acronym. It stands for Recognition, Equity, Success, Uniquity, Loyalty, Trust, and Strength. And these are all values that make up a strong brand. And um, this is where our focus is. We want to create recognition. We want to create equity, success, uniquity, loyalty, trust, and strength. Everything that we do is aimed at making these values stronger and present in your brand. Um, 
Um, determining who your targeted audience is is um, mostly research. The best way to describe it is with an iceberg model. I like to use an iceberg model even when I, with my clients when I present to them who their target audience is. I'll use an iceberg model because at the top of the iceberg that's sticking out over the water is like 10-15% of what you know and see. But 85-95% to 95% of it is under the water. There's so much you're not seeing. And that's what we like to uncover. There's the obvious. There's the demographics at the top of the iceberg above the surface. These are things you can figure out on your own. You know, If you're a restaurant, these are hungry people. That's your above the surface top level iceberg model consumer. Now why are they hungry? You know, why are they in this area? Why have they decided to enter your restaurant? You know, what are the behaviors and the triggers that have stimulated their emotions enough that they've made a decision to buy your, your product or, you know, enter your restaurant or buy your services or whatever it is that you're offering them? Um, so basically determining who your audience, targeted audience is starts with asking these questions. Why? Why is an important question? And you want to ask that about every little thing you uncover. Luckily in this day and age, we, there's lots of data available that you can figure things out. Another great strategy for figuring out who your targeted consumer is, is doing a survey. Find one of your regular customers, have them fill out a survey. Ask them directly, why do they love your brand? What brings them here? What kind of emotions do they feel? You know, all of these things give you insight onto how to appeal to them. So... How can I help your business increase revenue? Well, um, I can increase your value by giving you the tools you need so that you can consistently deliver on your brand's promise. It all boils down to the results approach strategy. We're going to create recognition. We're going to create equity. We're going to create success, uniquity, loyalty, trust, and strength. And all of those things ultimately will lead to more revenue. Basically, the way we increase customer satisfaction is by, again, delivering on the brand's promise. Um, we've determined who the customer is. We know how to appeal to them. And all we have to do now is consistently do it. And the more we do it, the more trust we build. If you're not satisfying your customers on a consistent basis, you're not delivering your brand promise and you're not focusing on your targeted consumer. The reason satisfaction will increase is because you're doing everything you can to appeal to them and you're giving the customer what they want consistently. The way I help increase recognition is mainly through the strategy, but more directly through the identity, specifically colors, the logo. These things, they not only identify your business, but they differentiate your business from others, therefore making it easier to recognize. One of my biggest things is I believe that a logo should be pretty simple for the most part. It doesn't have to be, you know, just a word. It doesn't have to be just a shape. But it needs to remain as simple as possible because it's easier for the brain to process that simple shape versus something more complex. And therefore, it's more memorable. And the easier it is to remember, the easier it is to recognize. So in order to increase recognition, we have to focus on creating a very memorable identity. The biggest mistake I see businesses make is they start with identity design and they don't consider any strategy whatsoever. That's a huge mistake. When it comes to branding, 90% of it is strategy, 10% of it is identity. And if you skip the strategy, you're cutting yourself of 90% of the value that you could have. Focus on branding. I'm telling every business out there, focus on your branding, not just your identity, not just your logo. Your strategy comes first. What makes my service unique? Um, this is kind of a big no-no because you're not ever supposed to make your point of difference based on price. But mine is. And I think it's okay for me because I see a huge gap in the market when it comes to the value that I give and I offer for smaller businesses with tighter budgets. Branding strategy and identity design is extremely expensive. Um, big companies spend millions. I think it's a, like, it's, it's a billion dollar business industry. Um, but the bigger businesses spend millions upon millions upon millions 
on their identities and their strategy behind them. Smaller businesses can't compete with that. They can't afford that. I basically offer very similar services for quite reasonable rates. My target consumer is the small business. I like to say that, you know, I'm selling them Ferraris for the cost of Hondas. You know, I'm not cheap. I'm not super cheap. You're not going to get away with giving me a hundred bucks and getting a full strategy, identity design, and everything you need to strengthen your brand. You know, the value I offer is, is quite large. There is value in what I'm giving you. But um, I do try to keep my rates very reasonable. I'm going to work with the client. Basically, what makes me different is I actually target the smaller businesses. I'm not targeting a paycheck. I'm not targeting a big payday. I legitimately want to help small businesses take advantage of the strategies that the bigger industries and bigger businesses spend millions of dollars for. I want to help small businesses succeed. And um, the advice I'd give for anyone starting a business, don't forget your branding. And by branding, I don't mean your logo. I mean branding. Again, 90% of branding is strategy. It's figuring out who your customer is, who your competition is. You know, how can you appeal to them? You're asking yourself questions about your brand. You're asking yourself questions about the competition and the customer. You want to know why it is that they want your product. And then you need to use that information and that insight to target them and then you can come up with an identity that also targets them but first you've got to understand the why you've got to define everything that your brand is your brand is a promise you've got to define that promise and you've got to deliver it consistently hi everyone Dennis here again um, I just wanted to thank you for watching this video I wanted to you know do a little questionnaire that explained a little bit more about me myself my intent what my business was, how we can help, and what the value is that we offer. I've been doing this for a long time, almost 16 years. I truly want to be able to help businesses, you know, take advantage of this great value that branding strategy can offer. Um, many businesses don't even realize that branding strategy is a thing. They go right to the identity and it's a, it's a huge miss. So I'm here to offer those services and I'm here to offer them at a rate that most likely your small business can afford. Whatever your budget is, you know, I'll, I'll do my best to work with you. So if you're interested in my services, feel free to check out my website. It's reevl.com. Follow us on social media, which is Reveal Social. That's R-E-E-V-L Social. That's for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So feel free to give us a follow on there. If you have any questions for me, or you'd like to know more, you're welcome to reach out. You can email me. My email is info at reveal.com. That's R-E-E-V-L. And yeah, I know it's spelled funny, but that's what makes it different and different is good. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope that the rest of your day is wonderful. And until next time, happy branding.